Now at 5 o'clock, some students didn't have a ride to school in Canterbury this morning. That's because a huge mistake forced the town to ground its fleet. Tonight, Channel 3's Jennifer Lee is live in Canterbury. And Jen, I realize you have learned that these buses have gone unregistered for the last year. Yes, they have, Aaron. This is a major flub for Canterbury Public Schools. We learned that the buses passed inspections last summer, but a final paperwork step never happened. School buses grounded and students stranded in Canterbury unless mom or dad would take them to school. But if you have to be at certain time at work and there's nobody, you know, like a grandma or grandpa at home, I don't know how they're going to get to school today. The district issued a last minute notice last night. Buses would not be running because of an administrative issue. Turns out the town's fleet of buses weren't properly registered since last September. The superintendent says this mishap was discovered by chance after a cop ran one of their plates yesterday. She says the students were never at risk. They're safe. They are inspected. They are insured. It was a paperwork issue that got missed. The deputy commissioner of the Connecticut DMV says he got the emergency phone call from school administrators this morning. He decided to send a group of inspectors to the town's bus yard and expedite services. This, that's when we acted in a very um, fast and courteous way to help out the town of Canterbury in regards, because we understand that kids have to take the bus the next day. Parents are obviously, you know, have to rearrange their schedule because now they have no way for their transportation. We asked the superintendent how such an oversight could happen. She says the district's transportation coordinator and director of business both left last summer. Those positions were just filled in the last month or so. The registrations themselves, when you see them, it says that they're registered. So when I looked at the registrations, it says that we're good through next August, this coming August. Um, so it really looks like we're all set. I'm surprised that there wasn't some kind of other alert system. A DMV spokesperson says their registration process for school buses has been in place for a decade, and a situation like this is unique. Today, attendance wasn't perfect, but despite the hiccup, the middle school had 60% attendance, and the elementary school, 80% of the kids were there to learn. It's decided to go to school, so I said I'm going to bring them. The Board of Education has ordered an investigation to see what went wrong in the situation for the district. As for school bus schedules and routes tomorrow, the superintendent says everything will run as normal, but wants to let families know that the buses may not be marked as Canterbury school buses. It sounds like the inspection and registration process is still going to take a little longer. The superintendent hopes everything will be back in order by Friday. Reporting live in Canterbury, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.